Kia ora Koto. welcome to North Harbour Stadium for the semi-final draw of the Chatham Cup. I'm here with Auckland United coach and uh, member of the coaching staff of the under-19s of New Zealand, Jose Figuera. Uh, how are you? Welcome, thanks for coming in. Good, yeah, good to be back in Aotearoa, so and yeah, pleasure, pleasure to be here, guys. Yeah, how was your experience overseas in Samoa? Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, obviously, we achieved the number one objective, which was, which was qualification and yeah, had some had some tough games over there. It's always um, you know difficult conditions and things to deal with on and off the field. But yeah, I've got to say the staff and, and the players were excellent and, and really professional. So um, yeah, all in all, it was a really really good tour. Yeah, no, brilliant. It was great to uh, watch from uh, outside of the uh, country too. Um, thanks, Jose. Big things coming from those players uh, in the future, I'm sure. Now let's take a look at the quarterfinal results from the weekend. Starting in the capital, reigning National League champions Wellington Olympic overcame Mandariwa AFC. Hamish Watson opened the scoring just before half time. In the second half, Ben Matter and Watson scored within eight minutes of each other before Kaylin Nguyen made it 4 0 in stoppage time. In the tie of the round, Coastal Spirit narrowly maintained the unbeaten run uh, of the season winning away to Hibiscus Coast AFC. Alejandro Steinrusher opened up the scoring for the Southern League side before Daniel Kyra equalised on the stroke of half-time for Hibiscus. Adam Dickinson produced a stunning effort to put the hosts ahead, only for Joe Hall to equalise shortly after. In extra time, Adam Windleburn sent the home crowd wild as he put Hibiscus ahead, only for Hall to once again put Coastal back on level terms. In the shootout, it was Coastal Spirit who held their nerve to book their first ever place in the semi-finals, winning 6-5 on penalties. Down south, Otago University played host to Auckland City FC. Angus Kilcolly opened the scoring for the visitors before Derek Tiaku made it 2-0, just before the break. Liam Burke uh, pulled one back for the host before Kilcolly scored his second six minutes later. The striker completed his hat-trick with three minutes left to play and a 90th minute own goal for Milo McBraid made it 5-1 to Auckland City. On Sunday, Birkenhead United travelled to Napier. Uh, Corbin Piper opened up the scoring at Blue Water with a header in the 23rd minute. Monty Patterson's free kick made it 2-0 to the visitors at half-time. Jack Albertini got Rovers back into the match with a goal just before the break, uh, but Birkenhead held on to win 2-1 and book their first Chatham Cup semi-final since 2018. Now let's draw for our two semi-finals. Uh, Jose, if you want to pick the first ball, give it a wee uh, shake up. And, uh, the first team will be the home team. First team will be Coastal Spirit. Coastal Spirit at home. Who's doing the trip to Christchurch? Team will be Wellington Olympic. Wellington Olympic Coastal Spirit is the first uh, semi final of the Chatham Cup and now semi final two. Bit of a shorter trip for these guys. Home team will be Auckland City. Auckland City. So for the avoidance of doubt, um, they will be facing Birkenhead United. Birkenhead United at Kiwi Tia Street. So just to confirm those two semi-finals are Coastal Spirit at home to Wellington Olympic and Auckland City at home to Birkenhead United. Uh, and as a reminder, the Kate Shepard Cup semi-finals are Dunedin City uh, Royals will host reigning champions Western Springs and Wellington Phoenix Reserves welcome Auckland United. Jose, thanks for joining us today to conduct the draw. Uh, you can watch the semi-finals of the Kate Sherwood Cup and the Chatham Cup live and free on FIFA Plus over the weekend of 17th of August. We'll see you again soon.